guys, I'm going to show you really quickly how easy it is to use our Liquid Touch Mineral Foundation to get a flawless finish. It has a photo blurring property in it. It's a liquid that dries to a soft powdery matte finish. So I start by using a little bit of our Glorious Touch Face Primer. And this is just a clear, really silky feeling face primer. Put about a pea-sized amount, tap that on, blend it in. And then normally I would wait about three to five minutes for this to really sink in, but there isn't a sticky feeling to it. You can use any little extras to help with the frizzies on the end of your hair, but just blend that in. And then I would usually go and get dressed at this point, let it soak in, but for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and just get started. Because this is a mineral foundation, the minerals uh, and the pigment will settle to the bottom. So each time I, I squeeze out what's in the dropper and I shake it really good. I use our concealer foundation brush to put it on because a fluffier brush is actually best for this. And then what I do is I squeeze up the liquid. I'm gonna drop on, I usually start with about four drops, four to five drops. And this is buildable. So I can do one layer if it's not enough coverage or if I need more coverage for the dark areas that I have here. I can add another layer, but it's a really soft, lightweight, uh, no line at the jawline finish. And so what I do then is just tap off the foundation on all the areas of my face, and then you just start buffing. And I'm kind of pushing into my skin as I'm buffing. But this foundation, this is the foundation that went viral when it first came out. It's been one of our most popular sellers. It comes in, um, oh gosh, I don't know. I think there were 15 original shades and then we've added a couple of um, shades in between. Very easy to color match because you can normally wear more than, one cup, more than one color because it is so lightweight that there's no line. So that gave me a pretty good finish, all around finish, but I'm gonna add just a couple of more drops because I do have some dark areas. We also have a mineral uh, concealer that you can add afterwards as well. So I'm just gonna do maybe two or three more drops and I'm just gonna tap that off now in the areas that I really wanna focus on. A little bit of extra coverage for me. But what I love about this is as I age, it does not settle into fine lines because it's so lightweight. And it just, um, and that's really important as you get older, you wanna actually go lighter on the formula of your foundation. But I love this, that I can get the coverage I need, but it's very, very lightweight. And then you can finish this with a finishing powder if you want, um, but it, you, don't, you don't have to because it dries to that powder matte finish. And then that's it, that's as quick as it is to put on. And like I said, we can get you color matched. It comes, um, I would recommend highly with this foundation that you do get the primer with it because that does make a big difference. We also have a tinted moisturizer, our BB cream, and that is for people that have more dry skin. This comes with a built-in uh, primer as well. And it's just, um, and it's called a BB cream because that means beauty balm because it's got a moisturizer and a primer all in one. This comes in five different shades and it leaves more of a dewy finish, but it gives you really good coverage. And so I would say anybody that has really dry skin, they're gonna wanna go with more of a BB cream. Sometimes in the winter, I'll put a little bit of this on first and then put my liquid foundation over the top because I do like more of a powder finish for myself or you can do the BB cream and then put a little bit of our Behold setting powder and that's just a translucent powder. What I love about it is it's got a little stopper in the top and so it doesn't all fall out, but this is just, it won't change the color. And again, you can use this foundation concealer brush and then just pat that on and this is kind of your setting powder. You can throw this in your purse if you need a little touch up throughout the day. If you tend to get a little bit of, you know, oily in the T-zone or whatever, you can throw that setting powder in your purse. And then this end would be the end you would use with a concealer. And so we have a great concealer. Um, it's more of a paste-like concealer. You don't need a lot with these. They come in the same shades 
that the liquid foundation come in. You can go a little bit lighter if you want to highlight under your eyes or you can go the same color if you wanna add a little bit more coverage if you've got some stubborn areas on your face. But just a little drop of this is about all you need. Just about the size of a grain of rice. And then you can use this smaller end to kind of pat that on. When you're doing your concealer, go in an upside down triangle. And then I just use this little brush to kind of press it into place. But you don't wanna highlight just the little moon where it gets dark because it's actually the shadow underneath that you're seeing. And so I go all the way into an upside down V and then you can pat it in with your finger and by adding it to your hand, it kind of warms it up to your skin temperature which makes it easier to apply. And then because, I'm, um, because I have some fine lines under my eye, I always look up when I'm doing this to press it in. So I'm pressing it in and not pressing it on top of the fine lines. And then I normally set this after I'm all done with my setting powder also, and then it keeps it from creasing all day. And so those are kind of the items that we have for coverage. We also have a compact powder, mineral powder, and a cream um, compact as well that you can use a brush and apply. So depending on your skin type, that kind of would depend on, depending on the coverage that you want. Um, and I can help you color match, really easy to color match. We've got a color match quiz, and then I usually, the window back here that you can see back here, it's best if you're trying to color match to take a selfie of yourself in front of natural light like that with a bare face. And then um, you can send that to me and I can help you color match that way. We've got a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So if you were to get a color and it wasn't the right color, you know, we can get that switched out for you. But I'm pretty good now at color matching. And like I said, especially in the liquid foundation, because it's such a lightweight formula, there's no line at the jaw it's really, really easy to color match. So anyway, hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks, bye.